This is our Back to Bach program and it's all about bringing the music of Bach and live music back to Portland and back to Maine and because we're live streaming back to the wide world and it's going to be the first time we've had a live performance here since March so we've been dusting off the cobwebs and we're really <laughs> looking forward to having the, the building sort of sing with music. Yeah, it's been a little quiet here for a few months. So even though you won't have people in here, you're bringing music from here. As a musician, how have the last six months kind of been for you? They've been pretty dark because we, we get our thrill through live performance mostly and having an audience that you can react to and they react to the music. And, and without that, it's been, we've, we've been looking for other things to do. So lots of my colleagues have been doing online stuff and. Um, trying to engage that way, but there really is nothing like live performance. So this, what we're doing is the next best thing. It's live, but people are going to be in, in the comfort of their own homes and enjoying it from afar. And this is offered for free to yeah, people online. This, Why exactly. was that important? Well, we felt that this was the time to give back to the community because we are in the municipal organ. We're in the city hall. This organ was a gift to the city of Portland. And so we just wanted to give back to to our patrons and also to find new people who might not come to a concert because they don't want to go to a concert hall, they don't want to you know, pay for a ticket. And so we thought this was a really nice way to reach out to those people and thank them and welcome them and all that good stuff. This specific event has been happening at Merrill for many years. Yes. How do you decide which pieces you want to play? That's a really good question because there's you know, hours and hours of organ music by Johann Sebastian Bach, he was the greatest composer for the organ, it was his favorite instrument. And so choosing the, the music, I mean, my, my list starts like this, <laughs> and then I you know, whittle it down, and I think about what pieces people are gonna enjoy if they've never heard the organ before, or even the music of Bach before. So in this concert, for example, we have probably the most famous music by Bach, like the Toccata and Fugue in D minor, it's like the Halloween um, doom and gloom, really cool piece. And then some slightly more obscure music, one piece that I arranged for the organ, it was originally written for orchestra. Um, and so people are gonna hear stuff they might recognize or they might, you know, might sound familiar and they'll hear things they've never heard before. So it's a real mix of, of all of that. You bring up the orchestra and, and we kind of joked about the fact that because you're solo, it's a little bit easier yeah. for you to navigate this weird world, but you have the sounds of an orchestra on this. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And in fact, one of these um, sets of pipes is called the orchestral division. It's literally designed to mimic the orchestra. And when this organ was built, it was meant to play music written for orchestra, but, but people couldn't necessarily afford to go and hear a big symphony orchestra, so the organist would play all of those pieces. And so in a way, that's really working out for us that I can sit here with just you know, all of these sounds and recreate all of these instruments instead of having them all on stage. I'm throwing you on the spot now, but can you give us kind of a quick example of what oh, that definitely. sounds like? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, here is a, a French horn. Here is a clarinet. <laughs> and here is a big trumpet. Then we have the strings of the orchestra. And we have flutes. And just about everything in between. So and you think those are just five or six sounds and we have all of these others that do a, a similar kind of job. So it's pretty amazing. This may be a strange question, but you haven't really been able to get here much because right. of COVID, but did you miss I did the organ? hugely. This is like my new best friend <laughs> of two, three years now and all of these sounds I've been getting to know and, uh, and, and the combinations of sounds and the feeling of being in this amazing space. And then of course I didn't have that for, for the best part of six months. So it has been just such a joy to be reunited with this and get, you know, get all of the sounds and, and all of that going, so yeah. And you're like really diving back in because you're doing this concert yep. with Bach and then you have the Halloween event. We do, yeah. I'm playing the soundtrack to the Hunchback of Notre Dame movie um, which we're recording and it's going to be live streamed at the, the Seiko drive-in and also a digital download. And we have our Christmas show, which would normally be in person. We'd have thousands of people in, mm -hmm. in, in Merrill. And of course, we're not able to do that. So we're doing a, a digital um, production of the Christmas show as well, which is going to be really fun. One happy sidebar of this is that anyone can watch this. Yeah, absolutely. And that was one of the, the silver linings of this pandemic. We can't be in person 
to, to hear these events live, but because we're doing them as digital downloads, then people can watch them from anywhere in the world. And I'm really going to look forward to after the, the streaming, seeing where in you know, the world people have watched this. And normally, it's, it's all you know, across all continents and, and all states and things. So that's a self-aligning. We can really reach out to more people.